I'm Robin. And Maxine. And we're going to teach you how to carve today. All right, Maxine. Are you ready to carve? Yes, I am. Let's start with our blood circle. Okay. To find your blood circle, you're going to put your stick out an arm's length away. Reach for my stick. And then you're going to swing it around in a circle, making sure nobody is in your blood circle. Is anybody in your blood circle, Maxine? No. Now we're going to unsheath our knife. Cool. Pinch the end of your sheath with your crab claws. Crab claws. Just in case there are any holes in your sheath, don't wrap your hand around it. Also, your hand won't be near the blade when it comes out. Hold your knife and stick like an ice cream cone. Ice cream? Yum! If you put your thumb in your ice cream, then you're gonna get thumb flavored ice cream. No one likes thumb flavored ice cream. Thumb ice cream? Yuck! Let's learn the forward cut. Exciting! This is my knife hand. This is my stick hand. Put the knife on your wood with the edge facing away from you. Don't get too close to your stick hand. For the forward cut, carve out into the air and carve away from yourself. Keep your eyes on what you're carving. Stay on target. Remember, keep that ice cream cone grip. You don't want to carve your thumb. Are you remembering your blood circle, Maxine? Yes, I am. Okay, Maxine, time to sheath our knives. Yes. Use your crab claws. Crab claws. Put your knife back in your sheath. See you in the forest. Can I have ice cream now? Remember, always ask your parents before practicing any tracker skills. Finally, exciting. I don't call Thumb ice cream.